In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. May peace and mercy be upon our master Muhammad, his family, companions, and followers. Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Tawfiq Tirawi. Members of the Board of Trustees. President of the University, Dr. Taysir Abdullah. Members of the faculty. Dear students, distinguished audience, it is my pleasure to meet you all today in the campus of Al-Istiklal University as it graduates its first batch of students. And I would like to seize this opportunity to congratulate the students and their families on their success and on their new beginning as productive members of society. And we wish the best of luck for others who are on the road to complete their education soon. My dear children, we count on the role that you are going to play in the new future in maintaining the rule of law and the safety of citizens and protecting the rights of our nation, its men, women, youth, children, elderly, families of martyrs and prisoners. This is an indispensable part of our responsibilities and policies on the road to achieve our national goals, which include the building of our economy and the institutions of our independent state, protecting our national project and obtaining our rights to freedom and independence. All of these goals are at the heart of your esteemed university's mission. We hope that this day, with all its joy, encourages our sons and daughters who are still in school to work harder and harder for a successful graduation someday soon, God willing. For it is with education and truthful dedication that nations are built and peoples are able to progress, flourish, prosper and preserve their high standing among other nations. Let's all be loyal to this country, Palestine and its capital, Holy Jerusalem. Dear children, you all know that graduation is when you begin to bear responsibility. And I hope that you handle this responsibility in the best way possible. In serving the Palestinian land, people, and cause. So that our banner keeps fluttering and remains held high as one Palestinian generation hands it to the other. I'm quite confident that you are up to this great responsibility. You are the first batch to graduate from this young and highly ambitious university. Which we hope that it continues to deliver its scientific and educational mission. In addition, I would like to applaud past and current efforts 
which are being made by the universities, board of trustees, president, and faculty to put national educational plans and strategies into motion through a variety of majors, programs, and curricula, which we hope they expand further to include additional majors and specializations. Today, our dear children, we have to recall the great achievement that we have made to enhance Palestine's status at the United Nations, which has been met with sweeping international support. It is an achievement that endows us with the legal and political power we need to carry on our journey to full freedom and independence. Your graduation today takes place as we return to the negotiations table in order to implement the two-state solution along the borders of the 4th of June 1967 on the basis of ending the occupation and achieving independence for the state of Palestine with Holy Jerusalem as its capital as well as resolving all final status issues and releasing prisoners held in Israeli jails. You are aware of our principles and demands. There will be no solution unless all our demands and our people's rights are met and respected. It is only then that our dream of achieving our independence will have come true. The first round of pre-Oslo prisoners has been let out. And the rest will be released according to the agreed dates, God willing. Once again, we would like to reassure you and our people that freeing all of our prisoners from the occupation jails remains our top priority so that they can take part in building their country and contribute to the future of their people. Concerning the pre-1993 prisoners, we have to ensure through negotiations that the remainder of those prisoners are released. This is our pursuit, our cause, and our pledge that we will never renege on. Within this scope, we are working together with the United States administration and the Quartet to ensure the success of the peace process. And I stress that we are serious about reaching a just and lasting solution that ends the conflict between us and our Israeli neighbors through the ongoing talks. With help from the United States as well as Arab and international support. And despite of the challenges that we encounter due to the Israeli government policies and the practices of its forces, particularly settlements, incursions, arrests, and throttling of the Palestinian economy, for which we demand an immediate cessation. We will continue to meet our obligations in accordance with the timetable suggested by the U.S. Secretary of State for negotiations. We will show good faith until the end, and the timeline is well known from six to nine months. And if there are good and peaceful intentions, then we stand ready for peace. We reassert that the settlement on the land of the state of Palestine of all forms is illegitimate. 
meaning that the settlement has started since 1967 and it is illegal and illegitimate. There are several Security Council resolutions to that effect and there are many other positions, the most recent of which is that of the United States Secretary of State who declared after 25 years of denial that the settlements are illegal. This is a good thing. And we say that they are illegal and they have to be removed from our Palestinian land. I take this opportunity to call on European and international companies working in the settlements to desist from doing so because it contravenes international law. We are currently in regular contact with the European Union and other countries. The European Union has declared that the settlement's products are illegal. You know the jurisprudential rule which states that all that is built on mendacity is equally mendacious. Therefore, the settlements are illegal and this is acknowledged by all the European Union states. These states will enforce this decision from the beginning of next year 2014. And we affirm that the security of the state borders is primarily the responsibility of the Palestinian security and only agreed upon international forces can oversee the implementation of the agreed terms in the final status issues. Accordingly, the eastern borders of the Palestinian state stretching from the Dead Sea through the Jordan Valley and the Central Highlands to the borders of Bisan are Palestinian-Jordanian borders and will remain so. There is no other side between us. Honestly, Israel is not between us. Gaza Strip returning to the Palestinian legitimacy is a popular and national demand which we seek to fulfill. We are waiting for the appropriate circumstances to achieve this demand through elections according to what has been agreed upon by Palestinian factions. Our brothers in Gaza, namely Hamas in Gaza, irrespective of whatever differences we have, they are part of the Palestinian people. We can't and do not seek to rule them out or isolate them from our people for they are part of it. Whatever the circumstances are, they are first and foremost part of this people. And we agreed that we will conduct elections. And they had won the elections before. And we accepted that. Then time passed. We demand, and this has been agreed with them, to turn to negotiations. And whenever they are ready for elections, we will surely join in order to preserve our unity as one people and one land. This is what we want. We do not want a divided state here and there. And we want one state that includes Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem. And without East Jerusalem, there will be no state. Once again, I congratulate the Board of Trustees and the President of the University on this marvelous achievement.
And I wish the graduates long lasting success and progress. We will see you all soon as productive workers. And I wish the university more and more success and educational and practical achievements on the road of advancing the Palestinian people and promoting their well-being and that of the entire humanity. May God have mercy on the souls of our martyrs, heal our injured, and grant 